you found old dog tags on Katanga. Shit. Rumor control. This don't go beyond you and me. Comprendo? The Corporal Olivia Ship who owned these dog tags? That's our colonel. Some 20 years back, her unit responded to a Xeno outbreak at a Sikhsen colony. The survivors evac to an orbital refinery, Katanga, but the bugs came with. Shit went bad. A civilian with a grudge took control of the refinery. The rescue dropships got wasted and ship had to leave survivors through the station to the hangars. A lot of people got killed. Civvies and ship's team. The bad guy herded them into Xeno ambushes, ground them up in the works. Now, ship don't talk about how it ended, even with me. And I served two tours with her now. So don't you go asking her nothing. Does that smell you, Marine? You must have run into Xeno shedding. You get a scan? Look at that. Not from a chest burster. It's way too big. Has to be from a Praetorian. When a Xeno hive gets big, around 300 individuals, the queen secretes royal jelly. They feed it to adult drones, and it triggers a second stage metamorphosis. I don't think we know what that process looks like. Maybe they spin a cocoon. I'd love to know. Anyway, what comes out is a Praetorian, nearly as large as a queen. Mean as hell. They've got a headplate that's nearly impenetrable. They use it as a shield and for ramming attacks. Praetorians guard the queen and the deepest levels of the nest. They don't leave often. Good data, but you might want to hit the showers. What did you find over there? Parliamentary solicit. <laughs> this has to be from the Three World Empire. Whoever Wayland Yutani had running security on Katanga must have been lining up their next contract. The 3 WE has a smaller military than they need. Every year the Solar Parliament says they're going to expand recruitment. Every year it gets tied up in committees. And every year they end up paying twice as much for private military contractors from Wayland Yutani. They love bureaucracy over there. You blend the UK, Japan, and Europe, mix in technocrats from Titan and executives from Mars, about all they have in common is love of paperwork. Knives and sharp sticks are no match for a decent... Let's rack up the highest kill count in this whole damn battalion. Knives and sharps, let's rack up the highest kill count in this whole damn battalion. The Xenos took out the entire Blue Fire team. Their mission falls to us. You're going into the heart of the hive to rig the refinery for detonation. That will take out the Xeno Queen, her entire brood, and you, if you don't move fast.
You're gonna put the refinery into overload state. You need to do that from process control. It's at the base of Likasi's core. Don't forget to watch for eggs. from here. Before you enter the core, we'll restore the auxiliary lift. It'll be your egress. Self-destruct won't give much time. Door. Don't lay my last. 
BS end of nowhere, but you pull this off, bet they'll put you on recruiting posters. Patching up. Eight kids here. Grabbing ammo. Let's rock. Somebody take the gear. Catching up.
on the Kasi Kors Augur. Reroute the coolant away from the refrigerator. 
refinery core. primary manual breakers.
We're burning to escape debris scatter. Under my authority, as delegated by the Secretary of the Navy, I have awarded you the Expeditionary Service Ribbon for Heroic Service. Upon loss of contact with a Marine unit, you advanced into a Xenomorph Hive and confirmed the status of three MIAs. You then completed their mission, resulting in the destruction of said Hive. Your boldness and dedication are in keeping with the finest traditions of the Colonial Marine Corps and United America's Armed Services. Given this day, in May 2202, Colonel Olivia Ship, Commanding Officer, 33rd Marine Regiment, 11th Marine Division. Some things don't belong in official reports. Katanga has been a stain on the honor of the Corps for years. If you haven't heard the details yet, don't worry about it. I'll just say I'm personally glad to see the place blown to hell. Report to Lieutenant Santos for debriefing. Dismissed. Rearming. Baines, guess we can't call you Boot no more, huh? Hell of a deployment. We found shit Whaling Yutani spent a lot of time and money hiding. Ruins left by aliens that look like us. An orbital refinery used as a Xeno breeding farm. And a lab using tech from the ruins on Xenos from the refinery. We still got a secure LV-895 in the alien ruins. There's Xenos and mutants running loose down there. Normally... We carpet nuke the place. Ruins be damned, but Doc Hanukkah says that can make things worse. Spray that pathogen shit all over the damn moon. Near term, we're gonna hold orbit. Keep this shit locked down. I'll bet my ample marine paycheck they're on their way here right now. They'll send military contractors, dog catcher units, lawyers. Maybe they'll talk. Maybe they'll just start shooting. But that ain't all we gotta worry about. Doc Hanukkah says I'm some rival out. company to Whalen Yutani sabotaged Palace Station. Whoever that was, if they heard his mayday, they might be on their way here too. Eh, shit's gonna get real interesting right here. Hey, uh. Aside from Esther, I think you're the one I've spent the most time with. It was all running and shooting and screaming, but that's time. Right? Look, one of the Paula Station crew was a spy for Hyperdyne Systems. We never found out what he sent off station. Maybe his handlers know all about the pathogen and the Xenomorph outbreak. They could be on their way here now. Well, Wayland Yutani used to own Hyperdyne, but now they're competitors, especially on the frontier. No governments claimed any of these systems. They're both dropping colonies all over, trying to beat each other to the best planets. And besides that, I mean, Hyperdyne's a big defense contractor for the UPP, right? Shouldn't we be worried about this starting a war between them and us? The pathogen could be a terrible weapon. Wayland was just trying to make better xenomorphs with it, but you could just drop it. Dump it in a water supply. There's enough down there to wipe out every human colony. Wayland yutani has got to be on their way here. If Hyperdyne is too, 
Things could get real bad for everyone caught in the middle. Hmm. I know you've got things to deal with right now. I'm just... worried about what happens next. Knives and sharp stick. Yeah, damn right you're ready for another mission. Regulation core. Yeah, damn right you're ready for another mission. Hey, best advice I got, bring me back something nice. I'm not big on chatting up the customers. How about you tell me what you need, I tell you what it costs, and we both get back. You'd be surprised how many spray artists we've got in the battalion. Esther says my backroom stock is unhealthy. Okay. Regulations require me to state that the battalion fabricators may not be used to replicate any device and or system that has not been licensed for use by Colonial Marine Corps Logistics Command. And I definitely don't have an unmonitored fabricator built out of spare parts stash in a hold somewhere. Because that would be... You think if bugs drooled in their sleep, they wake up stuck to the floor? You and me both. Let's do this. 